Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda, and today I'm gonna be doing a fall. Not fall anymore. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time, Amanda. Come on. Today, I'm gonna be doing a Christmas haul of a couple things that I've gotten from different stores like TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Target, and Amazon, of course. So, I think that's everywhere. Yeah. So, this is just the beginning. I do have a lot of things already, so I kind of feel bad even shopping for more, but, um, you know, you get so excited and you want to get new pieces every year. So this is definitely making me excited to decorate. I know in my Halloween home tour, I was saying that I'm not really big on decorating for Christmas right after Halloween, but my husband and I were talking and I think we might start the process because then by the time it's Christmas or like right after Thanksgiving, I can just kind of focus on presents and like having fun and really soaking in all those times instead of wanting to decorate. Just decorating, you know, it takes a lot of time, especially if you want to do it like the way I do it. It does take a lot of time and effort, so it's probably good to start early. And that's what I'm gonna do. So the store I wanna start with is Amazon because I'm the most excited about the ornaments that I picked up. This first box, you guys, is so gorgeous. It's like my perfect color that I wanna go with this year. And I think it'll just match perfectly with the decor that I already have, which is more of a natural, organic feel. Um, I also love mercury glass. Like a vintage ornament is really pretty to me as well. But I'll give you some close-ups of these. They have a beautiful gold top. This one's more of a matte, and it's just this beautiful chocolate brown. The next one is the shiny one. They look the exact same, just um, the texture, not the texture, but the, the shine is different on it. So that one, and then my favorite is this kind of see-through amber glass. I love this one the most. I was even thinking about, um, DIYing something like this because I really want some large bulbs as well this year and um, Look forward to that because I'm gonna try this out. I think and then Something that leads me to my next box is These oh and I wanted to tell you these brown ones They're nine and they're for uh, $25.99 on Amazon and they have all kinds of colors. So um I think I've seen silver, gold, white, cream maybe, if I can think right. This is the next one. There is 25 in here, and they're a little smaller than the other ones, but these are velvet. I've been looking everywhere some, for some velvet balls, <laughs> Christmas ornaments, and um, these ones stuck out to me. I really like this natural color. They have them in green as well, like a um, dark army Christmas green that are really gorgeous too. I did green last year, like a little bit of green in my decor, but this year I wanted to go more brown. Um, but this comes with a bunch of different kinds. So that first one had some texture on it. This one's more of just a regular Christmas bulb. This one's kind of a top, like a spin top. They all have the same little gold top and this ribbon is really gorgeous. I wanna show you what they look like side by side. This is a regular size and then this one's a tad bit smaller, but I like the look of different size ornaments on a Christmas tree. That's why I wanna do the really big ones. And um, so I'm gonna to try to DIY some brown like paint, like clear glass, and then I'm gonna try to DIY some velvet. So wish me luck. I know it'll save me some money because it is insane the amount of money they want for 
that kind of um like a larger ornament that's velvet or like something fancy so to move on with my amazon i got these paper ones i think they're so cute what is this like paper mache they're really pretty so this one is a cream and the really cool part is they're like have they have a magnet in here so you just kind of unfold them when you're not using them and then you can just clip it together i thought that was so cool i almost want to get more because these didn't come in the same color they're all different like this one is a gray it has like gold on the edges this one's my favorite it's brown there we go really pretty and it just kind of snaps it comes in a pack of five i love these colors but the other actually it was a pack of six the other three was red like a red bulb pink one and this green christmas tree which i might still use this one i don't know i think i might put it on the kids' tree so there was a pink one a red one and then this green christmas tree which is really pretty but my favorite the pink ones are gone because my girls took off with them but my favorite are these three i think they're so fun they have so much texture to them so i think that'll be a cool addition I might have to order some more of those. The last thing I got from Amazon was some dried oranges. I really wanted to go even more like natural and organic. So I thought oranges would be really cool. So just some regular dried oranges. They smell really nice. I might put them in like a bowl of filler or like string them on some like string or ribbon or something i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with them i might even use them for my tablescape for thanksgiving or even christmas i think they're really they're really beautiful and, and you can use them for all kinds of things and they last forever so this was 14.99 on amazon when i walked into hobby lobby i found these large bulbs I think they're beautiful. It's $13.99 with half off. They have this in green as well, but I just got the black. It's more of a black charcoal, and it has a really cool like faux leather um, hanging string, the thing to hang on the tree, and then uh, just really big. And it's it's glass, so it's it's heavy duty. They're pretty heavy. And then I love the top as well. Like that is my favorite top of an ornament. So that is so gorgeous. And I got three of them because that's all they had. If I go back and see that they have more, I'll probably grab more. And my daughter's crying. So another thing that I got from Hobby Lobby was this. Um, what do they advertise it as? just bells but you can hang them on a door or you can hang them on a wreath or you can hang them on um, a fireplace on the edge you can hang them at the end of a staircase where your garland comes down there's so many things you can do you can hang this in front of a mirror so there's so many things you can do with just like a swag i think these are called a swag is that what it is but they have um just a few bells on it I think five bells and it has like this jute and then faux leather pieces here and this was $14.99 half off I really like it it's sizable so it's a good deal and I like that the bells aren't super shiny um, they have like a dullness to them so I think that's beautiful and I love bells because it reminds me of the sleigh bells for on like Santa's sleigh so I love that you like bells? Yeah. Yeah. And at Hobby Lobby, I found another set of bells. And these really sound like Santa Claus is coming. 
and they're more of a garland. I don't know how big they are. Pretty long, I would say. I got three or four of these so I could hang them down my staircase with the garland. I thought that would look really cute, but if I decide to do something else, I could hang them on the mantle, I could hang them on the Christmas tree, just all kinds of things. The only thing with these are they're, they're a little shinier, so the gold on it is um, super bright. So I think I might try some rub and buff, buff and rub. I've never tried it before, but I think I've seen some other people do it. And I think I should be able to do it with these and it'll make them look a little more worn. Kind of like this gold, I think. I love these candlesticks, you guys. I got this at a, um, a flea market. I can't remember how much. I, I feel like they were $20 a piece. They're gorgeous. They're huge. I love them. I keep them up all year round. And that's why I like to bring in more golds for Christmas because I just, I like gold anyway, so. I think that was everything I got from Hobby Lobby so far. So at TJ Maxx, I got this cute nutcracker and he was $12.99. He's this beautiful wood color, but he's actually made out of like ceramic. I just like the way it looks. I like the color. I like the touches of the um, white. I just think he looks really cool. I know I say cool too much, you guys. I don't know what else say I'll try to expand my vocabulary but it's not something that's easy for me this is really cute I like that he has no eyes I just like that he's more of like a minimal nutcracker I also found some at Michael's that I'm really excited I'm gonna pick them up and I think I'm gonna stain them so that'll probably be in my DIY video as well they're more of a like they're not like an untouched wood, so very light, like a yellow white, I think, like a yellow white light wood. And I think I'm gonna stain them like a dark. Oh, it's gonna look so good, I'm excited for that. I have to pick them up, but they're huge at Michael's. I just, when I went, it was still like Halloween and I didn't pick them up, so hopefully they're still there. I'm hoping, they had a ton, so hopefully they're still there. And then the next thing I got, this beautiful bell, it's really cool. It has just this, like, I almost feel like it's a silver gold. So it'll do well with mixing the colors, the mixed metals. It has this um, birch twine on it, but I might take it off and put a regular ribbon on it, like a, the chocolate brown one that I'm gonna have everywhere. I also love like a cream ribbon as well, but this is a candle and it smells good. They had a bunch at TJ Maxx, but not all the candles smell good. Like some smell horrible, to me anyway. But this is a four wick, so a pretty big candle for $19.99. And of course, if you burn it down, you can still keep it as decor, like a candy dish or something like that. So I love this. I love bell candles or just any bells in general. I just like them. And then I picked up this. It's a little candy dish. I figured I could put it on top of some books, on a coffee table or something. And we could put our remotes in it, or candy. And it's a, a nice metal, like a silver, silverish. Yeah, it's silver for sure. It was $12.99, so a little bit pricey but I really liked it and I feel like I'll have it for a long time and I love Christmas trees so and it has a little star but it's beautiful that's everything I got at TJ Maxx and then the next door the last door is Target so my most favorite thing I got was this beautiful candle stand what are they calling it candle candelabra candelabra this beautiful candelabra. I can barely say that word. It's nice, you guys. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve across. You couldn't even, how much is this thing? $39.99. I don't think you could get that many candlesticks even from uh, like a Goodwill for that price. I mean, maybe, but usually they're about five bucks. 
I don't know. But this thing is beautiful. I love it so much. The gold is perfect. I love candlesticks. I use them all year round. So when I've seen this, I can either put it on my island, I can put it on my table, my dining room table. I can do so much with this. I even have a really substantial like window shelf in front of my um, sink. I could put it there so there's so many things I can do with it and I'm excited I love it it's beautiful next thing I got was this Christmas tree and I really like the mercury glass I was telling you I love the design on this it looks super vintage to me and it lights up so it's ultimately Christmas in a Christmas tree and I got this from the wonder shop in Target so I love it. I love the shininess. I love the metal. So it just goes right perfectly with my theme. And I'm really excited about this. I love that it lights up. It just brings that Christmas charm. So the next thing I picked up was these beautiful little ornaments that I found in the Hearth and Hand. It has black velvet ribbon that holds it really pretty i love the metal on this it looks worn it's beautiful i got three of them i probably should have got some more but for now i just got three i think they're beautiful i'm gonna fill my tree up this year i think i'm gonna put a good amount of ornaments on it i don't know we'll see whenever i get there like how it'll turn out but I think I'm gonna have quite a bit, especially with like this beautiful one and this, like look at how pretty. It's like a vintage Christmas or something. The next thing I got was just this little tray for $10. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much these. These little ornaments are $2.99 a piece, $2.99 a piece. So not horrible. My husband thought that was too much though but I think it's a good deal. But this little tray is really cute. I just wanna put like a candle on it or something. I'm not really sure. I've never had one of these to um, style before, but I thought the price was right and I think I can get a lot of use out of it. I love the color. It's like more of a cream color. So for $10, I couldn't pass it up. And of course with um, Target, you could always return things. So I just picked it up. The next thing I got was this mistletoe from Hearth and Hand. I thought it was so cute. I, I love mistletoe, so I'm gonna put it somewhere in the house. It does have this beautiful red ribbon on it that's velvet, but I'll probably replace it with like the brown, the chocolate brown one, just to go with my theme more. This is from Hearth and Hand, but it's like a cream red, it's a dark red. It could maybe play off as brown. Let me see. It's definitely red. But um, I don't know. I like it, but I'm gonna try to stay away from the reds this year. But this is like an apron. I thought it would be fun to have one for Christmas and then just like a dish towel to go on my stove when we dry our hands. I like that they match. They're cool, they're nice. I don't know, I'll, I might take them back, I might keep them. I don't know, we'll see how my style kinda goes because this is the first time I've put brown into my Christmas decor, so we'll see how it clashes with like, say a color, like a red or anything like that. I picked up this most beautiful, softest, coziest blanket. It has this beautiful chocolate brown inside. I love it, you guys. It is just the whole it's vibe man it's it's wonderful this is by threshold it was $30 and it's so nice I wish I had one that was bigger for my actual bed in my bedroom but this is just a throw it is a 50 by 60 so no not horribly small but it is so cozy you guys i love it my husband loved it which was a plus because usually he doesn't think there's a reason to buy more blankets because i have a ton this is actually my blanket cabinet here but the kids they go through them like crazy i fill this thing up like daily and they take them out 
So this one will have to go out on a blanket ladder. I have this beautiful blanket ladder right here. So maybe I'll put it here. This is not brown. This blanket's more of a rusty color. So if I could find an actual brown one, that would be great too. Speaking of blankets, I got another one, but I this one I'm definitely gonna return. This was before I chose my theme. I like I thought I would do browns and greens, but now I think I'm not gonna really put greens in it at all. Of course, like the greenery, like the plain like organic greenery that's the Christmas tree and the stems and plants and stuff like that, but actual like putting it actually putting it in like blanket form i don't think so this one was a good price though it's from hearth and hand it's 20 bucks um it's like a plaid it's super soft i really like it but i don't think it's what i'm gonna do this year so i'll probably be returning this one as well that's everything i have for you guys today i hope you enjoy it i'll link everything below if you have any questions and i miss something let me know i'll be happy to find it for you thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys so much and i look forward to seeing you guys in the future bye and i can promise santa's coming to visit